this is gonna be the best fly of my life. I know I always say this is an exciting one, but this really is about as exciting as it gets. I'm at Reykjavik Airport. It doesn't look that interesting. Behind me is a normal Iceland Air check-in desk, but I'm about to check in for something crazy. Today, I'm flying on the Abercrombie & Kent private jet. All first class, 48 first class seats, and this plane takes guests on trips that cost $165,000 all around the world. Going to Japan to see snow monkeys, to Borneo to see orangutans, to Uganda to see mountain gorillas, and so much more. But today, I get to experience this incredible, exclusive plane that almost nobody has been on board. And I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go check it. Well, I've never had a check-in experience like that. All I had to do was go and pick up my boarding pass. Actually, my bags have been picked up from my hotel room and I won't see them again until I get to Portland in my hotel room there. That's the kind of service that you can expect on these trips. It's like a no-touch thing. At no point are you like having to handle anything. Even the tiniest details are thought out and I hadn't really expected that, not having to check my bags in myself. Got my boarding pass, there was no queue, there was nobody there, and we're off to the lounge. different in every airport but here in Reykjavik if you're flying on the Abercrombie and Kent jet you'll be invited to the really chic Iceland Air Lounge. Gorgeous seating, lovely food on offer, lovely coffees and a gorgeous place to hang out before catching your flight. So we boarded a bus and we're just approaching the jet now and wow this is so cool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's get on board. The experience is special from the off. The crew have just come over with lovely glasses of champagne. This is the way to start a day. Well, here we are. Welcome on board this Abercrombie & Kent 757-200. This plane is in an all first class configuration. Two, two, one aisle, it's a narrow jet, but this plane is special because all the seats are the same and all the seats are first class. And this is it. On first impression, it is so chic on here. It's cream leathers, it's new, it's fresh feeling. And there's little touches all over that make this plane feel extra special. First of all, you have this incredibly large and comfortable armchair and armrest. There's a control panel on the right hand side here which allows you to put the chair into a bed, into relax mode, and also you can set it to massage you as well. Entertainment comes in the form of an iPad that is handily stored in the seat pocket next to you. The seat features a personal reading light, a universal socket and also a USB-A and also a shared plug socket down here so you're not going to go short if you need to charge your stuff. The tray table is right here in the middle console. It comes up like this and it's a big and sturdy tray table. You may be traveling as a pair but you also might be traveling solo for when your bed's in the flat position there's also a privacy divider here which lifts up and gives you that little bit of protection against the person next to you especially when you're lying down and you notice ahead of you there's a soft pad which allows you to have a guest come and sit with you while you're eating on this little buddy seat. You're not going to go short of amenities on this plane. You get this Briggs & Riley gorgeous Abercrombie & Kemp branded amenity kit. This is probably one of the most sturdy and luxe amenity kits I've seen on board. Opening this up, there is a wealth of excitement waiting you inside. Got an eye mask. Hand cream, moisturising mist, toothpaste, tissues, disinfectant wipes, lip balm, hand sanitizer, toothbrush, rinse, ear plug, and mask. So much stuff I can barely even hold it all. You'll also find this Abercrombie & Kemp branded set of Bose headphones. The real deal, noise cancelling. Oh, even putting them straight on, I can barely hear what's going on around me. You even get a set of slippers. I don't 
usually do a loo review unless there's something special to see. And in here, it's sort of a normal toilet, except there is here a kind of fancy wooden seat. But what's really nice are these molten brown amenities, actual big aftershaves. very snazzy menus have been brought around. Uh, one is a drinks menu, there's a very comprehensive drinks offering. You will not be thirsty on this aircraft and nor will you be hungry because being served today is a full three course meal but started off with a caviar service. You don't get much more luxury than that. It's the little touches. You get the Icelandic vodka with the little puffin shot glass. <laughs> okay, I guess we pour the vodka first. <laughs> Do a little cheers, my little puffin cup. <laughs> and then on to the main event itself, the actual cup. It looks like a mess, but it is delicious. This is luxury in disguise. Thank you so much. Very excited. But before I eat, you could order cocktails. So of course I went for a cheeky Negroni. Which is delicious. It's just the best way to start a meal. So the meal is starting with a chicken Caesar salad. Cute little salt and pepper pops. Look at those. Very sturdy, heavy metal cutlery. Yeah. Next up, I've got this gorgeous rack of lamb in front of me that I'm gonna try out. It comes with a mashed potato and there's also some delicious looking vegetables. I'm pretty excited to tuck in. There's a nice, rich looking gravy sauce as well. That is great. Oh, lovely fresh crunchy garrots. Well, there's also more lamb in here, you know. Rack of lamb and lamb shank both. Well, that lamb shank is particularly delicious. Oh! Stunning. And last up, dessert caramel chocolate mousse brownie. And this looks like a bit of meat. She said that. That is good. Free rich. She said. Lovely with a cup of tea. Yes, please. She said to me that. Right yeah. on cue. The crew there. Did you hear that? You want your tea now? She saw me eating this. She knew I wanted a cup of tea. And now she's bringing me the cup of tea. What could be better than this? It's time for the Corbell Challenge. This one's a little bit different. I've never done a Corbell Challenge on a private jet before, but let's see how quickly the crew come on here. If I can find the button. Balls just saved there. Not too bad. Hi. That was just a passing check on me to see if I was all right, which a lot of crew don't do. But in this case, Corbell Challenge was a little bit of a flop. But you know what? I let them off because they're very busy. They've got a lot of passengers on this flight. They just didn't notice, but they did come to check on me, which is even better, actually. this flight has been pretty amazing but now it's time for me to get into my lovely flat bed in the sky the crew have made this up to absolute perfection oh. this is Thank you, bye, bye. 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 bye.
Well, there you have it, safely landed in Portland, Oregon. My first time here, and that flight blew me away. My first private jet flight and something so unbelievably special. I've just never really experienced anything like that before. From the food, which was delicious and amazingly presented, the amenities, which were comprehensive and probably more than I've experienced elsewhere, and service that just took things to the next level. That was a memorable flight, and I am desperate to go on that actual trip all around the world to see all those animals for 25 days. The Abercrombie and Kent jet, I'm sold.